London, a great city with a millennial history and crossroads of countless people's lives, majestic and mysterious, every corner here has its own special vibe and among the streets you can meet all kinds of people, each with their own strange creativity, personality and charm. It just so happened that in the last days of 2023 I suddenly found myself here wandering its streets again. But before I talk about it, watch folks, I'm Lawrence and my aim is to show you many places around the world from my curious human perspective. Before I start, help me to grow this project, snap me a like and subscribe. So let's talk about London. This will only be a video diary because this time I was not traveling alone but with my beloved cousin who won my field very close. It happened to me one day that we were out and about together and they told me that they wanted to go to London but there were problems with their fellow travelers so I proposed myself because ok maybe I was a bit tired of spending New Year's Eve in the misty Piedmont plain. This time I needed a bit of adventure and this was the perfect opportunity to come back to one of my favorite places in the world. But how would I have perceived the city this time? After that hard 2020 and all those years of traveling, working on myself and creativity, what would I have felt walking its streets? Surely I was no longer that carefree kid always looking for adventure and an excuse to party. Ok, I just had to find out. So that December day we took the car to the airport and by late evening we reached the UK capital. We rented a small flat near Queensway tube station, a part to the whole city, we were a bit camped out but that's certainly one of the nice things about travelling, isn't it? We have already been to London many times, my cousin Chiara probably more than 10 and as far as I'm concerned this was my fourth time. The first one was my first trip out of Italy without my parents, my first flight. And actually, if you are an old subscriber, I've already made some videos about London in 2017, which are now very private and you will never see them again. So London is a special city for me, a place where I felt at home in some moments of my life when I felt quite broken and when my mind was not completely on this hurt. But that's another story. All this to say that we did not really have the urge to see or visit things, it was a great opportunity to wander around and explore a bit in a glittering Christmassy London, and so we did. Here are some fast stages of this fantastic trip, the stages I filmed. First of all, on the first day we went to Covent Garden. I was very curious because I loved that place and I saw in the past many review that it's beautiful on Christmas time. And they were right, twinkling lights everywhere, giant Christmas balls, my camera was jumping in joy. Then we went for lunch in a very nice and crowded market and then we went ice skating but uh, it was too dark to shoot, uh, yes, sorry. On the second day, after chasing my beloved squirrels in Hyde Park, we went to Notting Hill where I experienced some dreamy moments of my teenage years and then to the city center, look at those lights. On the last day, first we wandered around Camden Town which is still one of my favorite places in London for its dark and hard rock vibe and then why not take a nice walk around the famous Battersea power station famous for being used in Pink Floyd's Animals album. We were supposed to skate here but it was too crowded and we couldn't. Then after a nice New Year's Eve together sadly we went back to Italy. It was a pretty cool, of course. London is always beautiful, I felt it may be colder than in 2017. I saw less people playing music in the streets, there was quite a different vibe but this is probably due to both the fact that I had been here at different time and that in these 6 years I have changed a lot. I think I have probably grown up, now I definitely have more complexities and more twisted mind. However, despite already knowing what to expect, somehow London as usual managed to surprise me. 
I discovered some hidden corners that I hadn't filmed because it was too dark and this left me breathless. <laughs> the best and most beautiful thing about this trip however are the relationship built with the people I was with. I really enjoyed getting to know each other better, cooking together, exchanging ideas, opinions or point of view and trying to understand how others see what you see. Traveling alone is a beautiful journey into yourself and I will never stop doing it because it makes me grow and get to know myself better and better. But it's amazing what others can give you when you share yourself with them on a trip. Ok, you have to adapt a bit more and you will definitely bring home less footage but that was the beauty, wasn't it? What a challenge it would be if everything was simple. You know, I love challenges and in the end, anyway, you can see this video, so I won. <laughs> London will always have a special place in my heart, not only because of this experience, but also because I have visited it in many different years of my life and each time I have seen it differently. It is like a city with many faces, but the question is, uh, is it the city or is it me? Maybe London is just a mirror in which I can reflect who I am and in which I can see different shades of myself and of course I always have a different reaction every time. Here I have lost myself, figure out how to heal, learned how to write a good story, I run away and sometimes simply had fun with my friends. I know, probably it will become a fixed point in space and time for me. One day I will probably come back here to look at myself again in the mirror in search of a shade that I have not yet fully understood. In the meantime, I carefully preserve the precious memories of all these trips and then, well, now I'm ready for the next adventure. Il, come si dice in italiano? Supply ho capito, non eh, ti preoccupare.